Hello viewers, thank you for joining me on the CAP RMF training. My name is Lucky Igwe. Before I continue with today's topic, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first to be notified when a new video is released. We'll be looking at the NIST control families. I'll be focusing on the access control family. The access control family is one of the 18 RMF control families. The access control family focuses on limiting information system access to authorized users, processes acting on behalf of authorized users. It talks about the types of activities, transactions that authorized users are allowed to perform on a system. We'll be looking at one of the access control family, which is AC2 account management. AC2 is one of the access control families. AC2 addresses the type of account that is created on a system. Is it a privileged account? Is it a non privileged account? It talks about the process of adding a new user to a system. Do we need to create a ServiceNow ticket or is the ServiceNow being, ticket being created? You know, and it goes through the approval process to have the you to add to add a user to a system. It talks about who approves, you know, a new user or who approves the, the use, new user's account. Who has the authority of approving a new user to be added to the system? It talks about the types of accounts that are created is it do, do you create emergency account temporary account or do you issue guest account it talks about the process of notifying the system administrator that an account is no longer needed it talks about the process of disabling or transferring a user's account let's say for instance the user is being separated or the user is separated from an organization Maybe as a result of the user being terminated or the user willingly resigned and got a new job offer and they moved on to a new job. It talks about the process of, let's say, a user, you know, is being transferred to, a, to another department or the user is being promoted to a new position, to a higher level position. The process of moving, transferring the user's account to the new to the new team or to the new group, or the process of disabling the user's account when they are separated from the organization. It talks about the process of notifying the system administrator that an account's privilege needs to be adjusted. You know, when an account's privilege needs to be adjusted, the process of notifying the system administrator. It talks about the process of notifying users that they are being monitored, you know, of health or all the activities that they are performing on the system, that they are being monitored, you know, based on the activities that they are performing on the system, the activities is being monitored. It talks about account review. How often are accounts being reviewed? Who is responsible for reviewing users' accounts? It talks about the process of identifying all the authorized users on the system. Now, we'll be looking at what evidence can we use to satisfy the implementation of AC2 control, account management. What evidence can be presented to satisfy the implementation of AC2 control? We can request for access control policies and procedure. We can request for row matrix. We can request for ticket approval showing a user being added to the system. We can request for ticket approved ticket approval showing a system account being disabled from the system. We can also request for configuration settings showing an account being disabled after a defined period of inactivity. And this is subject to each organization policy. Some organization could say, well, um, if a user account is inactive for 60 days, you know, the, you know it, should be, it should be configured to automatically disable that user's account. If a user's account is inactive for 90 days, it should automatically disable that user's account. 
We can request for lots of evidence. We can also request for communication or notification to the system administrator, you know, communication or notification received by the system ad administrator, notifying the, the system administrator that a user has been separated from the organization or a user's role has changed or a user has been promoted or the user has been transferred to a different department or a different section. So there's other evidence that we can use to satisfy or to support the implementation of AC2 control. I hope this video is helpful. Please be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.